Good morning. This is Wednesday, October the 14th, 2015, reading from my utmost for his highest, the key to the missionary. Kind of rough this morning, so apologize for the gravelly voice and won't be singing today. <laughs> Not with my voice, but I will seek to sing in my heart. The key to the missionary. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. The basis of missionary appeals is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the heathen. The basis of missionary appeals is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the heathen. We are apt to look upon our Lord as one who assists us in our enterprises for God. Our Lord puts himself as the absolute sovereign, supreme Lord over his disciples. He does not say the heathen will be lost if we do not go. He simply says, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go on the revelation of my sovereignty, teach and preach out of a living experience of me. Verse 16, then the 11 disciples went unto a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. If I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I must know him for myself and how to get along with him. I must take time to worship the being whose name I bear. Come unto me. That is the place to meet Jesus. Are you weary and heavy laden? How many missionaries are? We banish those marvelous words of the universal sovereign of the world to the threshold of an after meeting. They are the words of Jesus to his disciples. Go ye therefore. Go simply means live. Acts 1 8 is the description of how to go. Jesus did not say, Go into Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, but ye shall be witnesses unto me in all these places. He undertakes to establish the goings. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, that is the way to keep going in our personal lives. Where we are placed is a matter of indifference. God engineers the goings. None of these things move me. That is how to keep going till you're gone. None of these things move me. I think of dwelling in Beulah land. Um, I'm living on the mountain underneath the cloudless skies. I'm uh, preaching from the, or drinking from the fountain that never will, will run dry. Uh, love that. <laughs> it's hard not to sing it. Then words of wisdom from Oswald Chambers, The Highest Good, The Pilgrim's Songbook. God engineers circumstances to see what we will do. <laughs> We will be the children of our Father in heaven, or we will go back again to the meaner, common sense attitude. Will we stake all and stand true to him? Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. The crown of life means I shall see that my Lord has got the victory after all, even in me. The hymn that comes to me is uh, called Jesus, I am resting, resting. It's written by Jean S. Peugeot or Piggott, P-I-G-O-T-T. -T. Jesus, I am resting, resting. In the joy of what thou art, I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. 
Thou hast bid me gaze upon thee, and thy beauty fills my soul. For by thy transforming power, thou hast made me whole. Jesus, I am resting, resting in the joy of what thou art. I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. Oh, how great thy loving kindness, vaster, broader than the sea. Oh, how marvelous thy goodness lavished all on me. Yes, I rest in thee, beloved, knowing what wealth of grace is thine. Know thy certainty of promise, and I have made it mine. Simply trusting thee, Lord Jesus, I behold thee as thou art. And thy love, so pure, so changeless, satisfies my heart. Satisfies its deepest longings, meets, supplies its every need. Compasseth me round with blessings, thine is love indeed. Ever lift thy face upon me, as I work and wait for thee. Resting neath thy smile, Lord Jesus, earth dark shadows flee. Brightness of my Father's glory, sunshine of my Father's face. Keep me ever trusting, resting, fill me with thy grace. Jesus, I am resting, resting. In the joy of what thou art, I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. As we start today, having just awakened from hopefully a good night's sleep, or it could have been a bad night, God entreats us to rest in Jesus. Do you want to enjoy this day? Well, <laughs> you must enjoy Jesus. <laughs> I thought I'd stopped. I pray that you enjoyed the day by enjoying and coming to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.